Tuck inside the video wall here at the uh, 40th annual Monet Country Festival of Double Up Like Mahalik on Monet Country 97.3 WHDG with a young lady. You may recall her from season two on The Voice. Ray Lynn is with us. Hey. A lot has happened in those five years, hasn't it? Yes, I mean, I can drink now. I couldn't drink when I was on the show. <laughs> This is a good place a to lot, start. A lot has changed. I know. I heard the Ho Dog Festival is the jam, so I'm That's excited. That's Hodag, by the way. Ho. Hodag. Hodag. Hodag, yes. Okay. Hodag's a whole different breed of cat. Okay. Thank you okay. for explaining that to me. Okay. I didn't know. Before you, before you do that out there in front okay. of thousands. Okay. I mean, I don't want to get more knows. I don't want to get in trouble. No, you know? no. Because apparently I'm a virgin here. Like yes, you are. Where's your plate, by the way? I I don't want to wear that. It's kind of embarrassing. I don't want people to know it's my first time. Who wants to know that? We have a nice little studio audience out here, and uh, they supply some questions for you. How old were you when you started singing? I've kind of been singing on and off my whole life, um, but when I decided to do it, like for real, I was 16. Mm -hmm. There you go. We've got uh, another one here. What is your favorite song to sing? It changes daily, uh, but I think right now probably my new single, Lonely Call, because it's my new single, and uh, I'm just super excited about it. Excellent. As well, you should be, by the Thank way. Thank you. And that album is still kicking butt. Thank you. I I know it debuted at number one on the Billboard Country chart, and it's just really cool to see everything just take off with this record. And it's I'm Wild Horse, by the way. Wild Horse, go get it, or I'll come get you because I'm a wild horse. Anyways, um, but yeah, it's it's super exciting. You know, there's a lot of dedication and hard work that's went into this record. I've worked for five years, so I'm very proud of it. As well, you should be. Thank Way you. to go. What inspired you to become a country singer, and do your songs reflect any part of your life? It reflects all of my life, actually. I mean, every song on there, if you ask me about it, I can tell you why I wrote it, who I wrote it about, and when I wrote it. And uh, I think that's pretty awesome to say. And I've There's so many things that have inspired this record, but I can't imagine being any other way. I mean, that's my favorite part about being an artist, is the fact that we can wear our heart on our sleeves. And that's my favorite part about songwriting. And uh, it's really cool. I wrote 11 out of the 12 tracks. Excellent. You're a busy lady. Busy lady. Alrighty. Uh, who is your favorite artist? Oh my gosh, in time, Dolly Parton. There you go. Yes, <laughs> for sure. Okay, you, can, you can clap, that's okay, that's okay out there. Uh, let's see here. Finally, uh, we've got a big promotion going here at the Hodak Country Festival Grounds for the National Honor Flight. Yes. And that's something that is close to you, new husband, military service. Tell us about that. So yeah, my husband is in the Army and my brother is actually in Special Forces at Green Beret. So my grandfather fought in World War II, so I definitely have a lot of uh, military background and what you guys are doing are so amazing and the military is so dear to my heart, veterans are so dear to my heart and I mean I, it never, I, anytime I get to do a military show or anything with you guys it just, it means the world to me so I'm so honored to be part of that today. Excellent, we're very glad we're, you, uh, that you're here finally. Yes. Ray Lynn coming up and don't forget we want to pack that plane, pick up those tickets for the National Honor Flight. She's coming up shortly.